What's going on guys? Today I got something different for you. What we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about how I maintain and clean my, all my guitar collection. So I occasionally get asked what I use for products to clean my guitars, to do maintenance to them for tools, so on and so forth. Um, so today I'm going to go into detail of these great products that I actually use and I stand behind. They are really, really great products. The wonderful people at Music Nomad Equipment Care, they have a full range of products from guitar, drums, band and orchestra, piano, and keyboards. Today we're specifically going to focus on just guitar products. I've only got a few of them, just the ones that I specifically need for my needs, but they offer a huge line of them. If you go to their website, musicnomad.com, you'll see a whole list of everything and anything you could possibly imagine to maintain all your instruments. Um, I purchased my stuff from Guitar Center, of course, and most of these range from anywhere from, say, $5 to $25. Um, these are my personal favorites. Uh, I'm going to go through some of these and kind of show you how they work and what I do with them. Um, this one is the all-in-one string fuel used to lubricate your strings and keep them from being corroded and keep them nice and bright and clean. We've got a guitar detailed um, towel. I have the uh, Guitar One Gloss Finish Polish. I use this when I restring my guitars. It's the Frying Fret Polishing Kit. I'll open this up in a minute. We'll go through all the little pieces and I'll explain sort of how to use it. Uh, this Nomad tool, this thing's super cool. I'll show you exactly what I do with this. We've got a cradle here and a mat here. That's what we lay down in order to use the, the, uh, the tools to maintain and clean our uh, our situation so let's uh, put this together here and check it all out piece by piece <clears throat> throw down our mat it's a little bit dirty because I use it all the time and then I have my Schecter CR6 we're gonna use as our guinea pig so let's start with um, the all-in-one string fuel. This is a cool little gadget. Has a little lid. You take the lid off. That's got a lubricant on it. In the top it has a lid with a little cloth inside, a microfiber cloth. And what I do after, actually before I play each time, I will grab my guitar out of the rack, grab this off my amp, and I will glide it up and down it and it makes it nice and smooth and gives you this playability that is awesome. Um, they make a refill bottle. Um, I need to get one. It's on the website. I just actually noticed that I didn't know they had a refill. I would just buy these each time they would dry up. Uh, they have a refill bottle where you can uh, refill this. So that's, so that's kind of cool. Um, then you take the cloth and you'll wipe it down just to wipe the excess off and it keeps them nice and clean and then what I'll do is I'll play my instrument as usual and then just before I put it up to put it back in the rack I'll run this over it one more time before I put it in the rack and it'll keep any kind of um, corroding from happening keep your strings really nice and bright really super cool the next piece we have is the Nomad tool, all-in-one string surface and hardware cleaning tool. This is a pretty cool little tool. 
So it's got a nice little fine brush, real soft bristles on it, and you can use it to clean in under the strings, around your tuning keys, to detail with, all around your bridge, around your knobs. And then the pad is kind of neat because you can get in these hard to reach places where you typically, it, you struggle with a fiber cloth, microfiber cloth to get in under there. This is very, very quick and easy. And for any of you guys that do YouTube videos like I do, you gotta keep these guitars shiny and clean to be on camera. So that's that. Um, you can also use it up here in the headstock. It works really well. Great tool. Very inexpensive to own and great thing to have in your arsenal of tools. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Microfiber cloth. Really nice soft cloth. We'll use this in conjunction with the Guitar One polish. Polish is very easy. Give it a little squirt. Take your cloth, buff it real nicely, and it comes out shining really, really nice. I'm really impressed with these products. There's a lot of different products on the market. I've tried a few of them. Some of them work well, like these polishes. Sometimes they leave behind a residue. This one does not leave a residue behind. It works really well. Keeps a nice shine. Look at the shine on that thing. Okay, and then this gadget here, this is super cool. This is the frying fret polishing kit. Now, this has a few pieces inside of it, so I'll go through the pieces. Comes with a cloth that you use to polish with. It's pretty dirty. I've used it an awful lot. Here's the actual polish. And then it has these little fret guards and there are multiple sizes. So what you would do is you would pick whatever size your frets are, size it out. And of course, obviously you'd have your strings off and you would pick the size that you need. Us metal players, we got these metal guitars, they got these jumbo frets. So you use this great big one. Um, and what you do is what, what I do is I put my finger on here and I put just a little pea size on here and I put the guide on here and you just polish it and then you wipe off your excess and then after that's all done they offer also which I don't have any more of I've used it all up is the uh, fretboard conditioner and you apply the fretboard conditioner and let that soak in nicely and then wipe away the excess and then you put your fresh strings on and the playability of this is awesome when you're done with it then my favorite piece of this is the Octopus 8-in-1 Tech Tool. This thing is super cool. It's got, uh, let's see, two, four. It's got six different socket size, wrench sizes on it. If you take the screwdriver out, it has one there. I'm going to put all of the information in the video description so you have um, a little bit better understanding of what the size is, everything, everything there is to know about this stuff. Um, the screwdriver comes out. It's got Phillips on one side. Flathead on the other. Super cool. This thing fits everything on every one of my guitars. If you're going to, you know, tighten your tuning knobs just a little bit, you, you got a screwdriver for that. If you're going to tighten your uh, tuning keys, you have socket for that. Um, it's cool because the Phillips head on this thing, although it looks large, it fits like your larger Phillips bits, but at the same time, your um, small screws on your tuning keys, the little tiny ones, it fits that really good as well. So you can use it for any one of your needs. You can use it to adjust your bridge. Um, also to your input jack, the, the nut there, this will fit that as well. Um, your buttons, everything. So really, really good. Really, really good. I love these tools. Um, I can't say enough good stuff about Music Nomad Care products. They do a lot of good stuff and if um, any of y'all have any kind of questions about anything hit me up you can follow them on Instagram I've communicated with them on Instagram they they answer back they're real good people there um, and the big question is are you on team blue I am that's all I have for you for today 
Um, let me know in the comments below if you've used any one of these products or any other products and how they compare. Um, let me know what's going on. Um, all applicable links will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.